exploring Singapore. So here's where we left off from our last video. Previously, we were at the Super Tree Observatory at Gardens by the Bay and we were heading over to Merlion Park. I'm super excited to come to Merlion Park. It was also featured in Crazy Rich Asians and the official mascot, the Merlion of Singapore is here. Also, walking over to see the Merlion, you can see a good view of the Singapore Flyer and Marina Bay Sands Hotel. There's two Merlion statues at this park. You can see the big one from a distance. We're first walking over to the tiny version which is 2 meters tall. The Merlion has a lion's head and a fish's body. The fish-like body is meant to symbolize Singapore's origins as a fishing village and the statue's head represents the city's original name of Singapura, which means Lion City in Sanskrit. And now we're walking over to the big one. This statue is 8.6 meters tall and weighs 70 tons. So after a while at this beautiful statue, we decided to walk over to get something to eat. Aww, it's a tiny replica of the Fullerton Hotel. Fun fact, the Fullerton Hotel was recognized as the country's 71st national monument and it was once home to the General Post Office, the Singapore Club, and the Chamber of Commerce. I truly hope I get the chance to stay there someday. Now off to lunch! We came to this Japanese restaurant. Here's what we ordered! Thanks for a good time, Merlion Park! I hope to come back soon! Now we were walking over to Singapore Chinatown. It's around a 20 minute walk from where we're at. It was definitely hotter than yesterday, but like I mentioned in my first Singapore vlog, there's a lot of cool sights and scenery you can see along the way, so I wanted to experience all of that. Right now, we're walking towards Momentum, Singapore's tallest public sculpture at around 18.5 meters. This sculpture was created by the Israeli sculptor David Gerstein. With human-shaped figures side by side, it's meant to represent the upward spiral of progress and symbolize the energy and momentum of Singapore and its people. And we continued walking forward. We passed by a lot of high-rise buildings. Also walked by another Singapore monumental structure, La Passat. It's a hawker center and one of the most popular food markets with a variety of local and international dishes. Walking some more and pass by Capita Green, one of the tallest skyscrapers in Singapore at 245 meters. Then discovered 10 unique character sculptures that were created by the Taiwanese sculptor Zhu Ming. Zhu Ming wanted to convey through these sculptures that people play different roles at different times and at different points of their lives. Love these! And now we're getting closer and closer to Chinatown. It's about a five more minute walk at this point. We're almost there. It was so hot at this point. And like I mentioned in my first vlog, lots of shopping places here. Here's another one that we passed by. And we're almost there. Fun fact, Chinatown in Singapore is known as Niu Tse Sui. In English, this translates to bullock water cart. This place is named after the ox carts that were used to supply water from wells to the population. I loved walking around Singapore Chinatown. It's very colorful and beautiful here. Many of the building architecture designs here were built in the style of the painted ladies. The buildings here are truly amazing. Here's what we pass by. Then after walking around for a bit, we were looking for a place to rest from all that walking, so we came over to this place. Ordered a lime juice. Perfect for that hot day. It was super good. Best sign I've ever seen in a restaurant. Thanks for a wonderful time, Neil Tosui. Hope to come back again soon. We then went back to rest for a few hours before coming back out again for our next adventure. After resting for a few hours, we were now heading to dinner. For this adventure, we took a bus and then walked over. We were going to a restaurant called Jumbo Seafood, which is along the Singapore River and very close to Clark Key and Boat Key. 
While we were walking over, we also saw the Old Hill Street Police Station, which is a historical building and used to be a police station for the Singapore Police Force. The building has 927 windows and are painted with the colors of the rainbow. And after walking and walking, we made it to the restaurant. But before going in, we explore the area for a bit. What a wonderful view! Then we went in to get dinner. Came here to order the iconic Singapore chili crab. So was given a bib to wear. The food was all so good. Then after dinner, we walked around. Singapore is so beautiful at night. I love all the lights. And that was a wrap to our day. The next day, we had made plans to go to Universal Studios Singapore. We got there at 10.30 a.m. before the park opens. But funny story, only after we had got to the Vivo City and then rode the monorail and got off and walked to Universal Studios did we learn that tickets were already sold out. Lesson learned, pre-order tickets. Prepare yourself for the possibility that even if you come before the park opens, the tickets may already be sold out. Since we were already here, we decided to explore what was around us. So we got to pose with some bunnies. Then we made our way over to the beach station. If I had known we were going to the beach that day, definitely would have prepared swimwear. Sentosa Island also has three beaches, so definitely need to make a trip back here in the future to experience each of them fully. Regardless, it was a wonderful place to walk around. It was a very peaceful atmosphere. Hope to come back here soon. Thanks for a good time. We then made our way back to Vivo City. We walked around this mall for a bit. It's very nice. Fun fact, Vivo City is actually the largest shopping mall in Singapore. The mall is over a million square feet and it's a three-story shopping complex with two levels in the basement. Thanks for a good time! We will be back here tomorrow because we are ordering our Universal Studio Singapore tickets online today. Then after Vivo City, we got to Orchid Road. Orchid Road is an entire street dedicated mainly for shopping. This is a famous tourist attraction, an upscale shopping area with many, many internationally renowned fashion stores and restaurants. We walked around for a bit before deciding to go to Ion Orchid. Love these sculptures. Then we were off to lunch. I was really craving Hainan chicken. I was so excited! This place was so good! Then after lunch, walked around some more. We had a sudden craving for sweets, so we looked to find a dessert or cafe shop. The weather was really nice right now, so we were just going with the flow to find a place to go to. There really are a lot of malls here, so we decided to just go to this one. Wow, in one mall, there's already so many options, and there's so many malls in this area! And after walking and walking, we found a boba shop! Me running to boba. I'm so excited! Then after boba, we just walked around and explored. And later, we headed over to dinner. I love the vibes of this place. Ordered a lemon iced tea and a pasta! And a matcha souffle. And that was a wrap to our day! Even though things didn't go as planned, I still had so much fun. We ordered Universal Studio Singapore tickets, so be on the lookout for my next vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos I make. I'm a Taiwanese American who makes videos about my life and things I learned along the way. I make videos about traveling, adulting, and reflecting on past college and internship experiences. Thank you all so much for your support. Until next time, bye!